All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Lux, here to uh, show you some gameplay. This is just going to be CPU versus CPU uh, of UFC 2010 Undisputed or UFC Undisputed 2010. And uh, now, as you can see, I do have Fedor on the game. He doesn't come with the game. You have to create him. And before anybody posts comments, I know his first and last name are not spelled exactly like, like it's supposed to be. The only reason for that is because THQ, uh, they have um, some preloaded names in the game that uh, the ring announcer, uh, Bruce Buffer, will say. And, um, and I guess in order for them not to get any kind of um, you know, copyright or anything like that, uh, they didn't spell Fedor the correct way, nor did they spell Emilienko, or however you pronounce it, uh, the correct way as well. But um, through a website called MMA hyphen, well, it's like MMA dash CAF dot com, uh, it's a website where people they post their uh, creative fighters. Uh, so far, since the game just came out yesterday, so far there's uh, there's still a lot of r fighters that are work in progress, but um, so far they have King, Mo, The Wall, Crazy Horse, <coughs> excuse me, Crazy Horse, uh, Alistair Overwing, and uh, Fedor. So these are the fighters that they so far are working on to try to, uh, you know, have them available. Um, it sucks on the um, creative fighter mode because you they give you very limited uh, uh, totals for to, you know, do your own stats and stuff. So... You know, Amelia, Amelia, whatever his name is, Fedor. He he doesn't have the all the stats that he should have, uh, being the the good fighter that he is. But the you know I gave him the best that I could give him for each different category. So let's do a title match between him and Shane Carwin and, and see how it goes. I'm hoping somebody would do a um, creative fighter for Jose Aldo pretty soon because uh, that's the one I really want. But as you can see, it's a, it's a, I mean, for this to be a work in progress, Fedor, it, it looks really good. Give it a little volume here. And now, with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. Looks really good. He's a boxer and a street fighter. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of St. Petersburg, Russia. He is or the last This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds, fighting at Denver, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, this is for the championship. You've been doing your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. There she is, the one and only Ariani. Are you ready to fight? The Are last emperor, Shane Carwin. Come on, let's do it. And here we go! Joe, if there were ever any doubters to Shane Carwin's championship abilities, he silenced the critics in his fight against Gabriel Gonzaga. He showed against Gabriel Gonzaga that he has that kind of one-punch knockout power that works even against one of the toughest guys in the division. Shane Carwin proved in that fight that he is very dangerous. Oh, but he oh, hit him left hand! Left. Oh! 
Got to keep those hands up. He's hurt badly. He's down. Dives into the full guard. Half guard. Good striking. Under three minutes now. Oh, he's cut. It's starting to bleed. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. He's got double underhooks here. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Drop down for a double. Oh, he's down. Working hard to try to get out of this bad spot. All right, so they're back on their feet. Two minutes remain. Oh, beautiful. It Ooh. is over. One punch. He waited for the wow. opportunity for the perfect counter. And good night. Knockout victory. Shane Carlin with the victory. Let's take a look at that again. Look at the timing of this hook, Mike. Let's see it one more time. He just nails him with that. Well, that was an impressive knockout. So, I don't know if it's, you know, with the lack of uh, stats that we can give creative fighters, uh, if that, you know, made this fight end so quickly. Um, maybe it would have been better if I was playing as Fedor, uh, but who knows. And this was set on advanced difficulty for the AI just to kind of see if they would play a little more natural. But knockouts happen quite uh, frequently on this year's game. I don't know if they'll tweak that or not. I know last year's game was kind of like that with the flash KOs. Um, but I mean the game is still awesome. I haven't really got too deep into the career mode but what I have tried out so far I, I like it. So uh, be on the lookout for some videos on that in the future. But uh, that was UFC Undisputed 2010. Uh, my first created wrestler which I got off MMA-CAF.com and it which was Fedor Emilianico. Thanks.